long since I've actually sat down and filmed a video and spoke to you guys. So today's video, I have filmed for you this look that's on my face right now. Um, it's a super gorgeous cut crease using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Picked this up the other day. I know it's been a long time coming. I've been wanting it for so long, and now I finally got it. I can't wait to create more looks of this. But literally, the colours blended like a dream. So. Yeah! Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you'd like to see how I achieved this look that's on my face then please go ahead and keep watching. Okay so jumping straight into the eyes, I'm basically going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I uh, picked this up the other day and I cannot wait to use this. <gasps> okay so first I'm going to start off by priming my eyes and to do so I'm going to take the Pro Conceal by LA Girl and I'm just going to I took the top off of it, like I pulled the top off out, if that makes any sense, and I just feel like I get more product out. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to apply this onto my lid. Okay, now I've primed and I look like a bloody panda. I'm going to take some of the RCMA No Colour Powder, I picked this up the other day. I haven't used it yet, so I don't know how it's going to work, how it's going to sit with my skin. Okay, so the first shade that I'm going to pop into is this shade right here, this burnt orange shade. So I'm going to take that on a Sigma E40 blender brush, and I'm just going to take that in my crease. Okay, so I'm going to take a big dive and go into this shade right here, which is Love Letter. Oh my god, I'm so scared because it's such a bright colour. Okay, so now that it's blended in, I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease. Take your time <laughs> when you do this. I've rushed before in the past and it just messes everything up. So just take your time. I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is called Vermeer, I think. Vermeer. I'm going to take that on a Zoeva 234 Luxe Shader Brush. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with... Oh, my God. I'm going to go in with this glit... Oh, my gosh. What is wrong with me? I'm going to go in for the first time <laughs> with this Glam Crystals uh, eyeliner and I'm just going to go over where I cut the crease there with this. <laughs> Such an idiot. I might go ahead and do some eyeliner, just like a little pinky wing. Uh, I don't know whether this shade suits it. This is Androgyny by Jeffree Star. I'm not too sure. Does it suit it? I'm going to attempt to do that on this Zoeva 317 brush. If I haven't said already, this is Androgyny by Jeffree Star. It's not perfect, but it's the first time I've ever done it, so... Okay, so I've literally been sitting here for like half an hour now, trying to decide what lashes I want to use. So I think I'm going to go with these ones. These are from Classy Lashes in the style... Lashaholic? Okay! Okay, so whilst I'm waiting for my lashes to go a little bit tacky, today we're going with the Simple Kind to Skin Hydrating Moisturiser. This is the Light Moisturiser. I'm going to rub that in with the So we've got one to two stippling brush. I 
Okay, so before I actually get started on my face, I'm gonna quickly apply my lashes to my eyeballs. Anyways, for foundation today, I think I'm going to take my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. It's a little bit dirty. Uh, so this is in warm beige, so yes. And then I'm gonna take my Zoeva 104 buffer brush. Haven't used this in a while, to be honest with you. Just gonna buff this all over the face. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to my beauty blender and I'm just going to tap all over the face. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with concealer. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me one. I haven't used this in a while, to be honest. Um, I need a new one. It's kind of running a little bit low. But yeah, I'm going to take my beauty blender again and I'm just, just going to blend that in. Okay, so now I'm going to try out the RCMA powder. I'm gonna brush that bake off. It's literally been on for like two minutes, but I just want to get it off my face because I don't know whether it's gonna make my face really, really pale. Again, going in with Love Letter, and I'm just gonna proper blow that out. This is a Morphe M514 brush. I'm gonna bring that three quarters of the way in. Think I'm gonna grab some of the Vermeer. Vermeer this color here that we used like all over the lid i'm just going to take that on a sigma e30 pencil brush and i'm just going to drag that down and meet that pinky color oh i'm so scared to do this i think they're safe to put in your eyes uh i bloody hope so anyway but i'm freaking out right now guys ah! okay so i just quickly run that through my eye waterline thing. Okay, so now I'm going to carry on with the rest of my face now that the eyes are done. I'm going to take some of the RCMA powder and I'm just going to literally dab some of that over my face. Okay, so for bronzer today, uh, I'm going to, I've been bronzing first, then contouring after, if that makes any sense. I, it just makes it look more natural. Oh crap. Oh my god. Is this broke? I literally was holding it and it just flopped out. This is the Milani Baked Bronzer in Glow. To contour just a little bit, I'm going to take the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and I'm just going to dab my brush in there. Da -da 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 -da. This is the Milani Baked Blush in 05 Luminoso. This is the most beautiful, subtle, uh, peachy glow to the skin. Okay, so just to clean up down the sides of my face really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and bake with the RCMA powder again. Okay, so taking the Hoola bronzer that we use to bronze our face with, I'm just going to take a Morphe E36 brush. Okay, so I'm going to hop into my Morphe uh, 9C palette and I'm going to pick up this banana shade right here. So I'm just going to lightly dust this off pick up some more RCMA powder. I'm just going to bake down the side of my nose. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up some of the L'Oreal mascara that I used earlier and I'm just going to apply it to my lower lashes. Oh, it just flicked down me. What the heck? I've wasted half of it on my carpet. What is it with people knocking on my bloody door? My bloody hairband fell out. Well, I've got one on my arm, but I don't usually like using these elastics. Bye. Okay, 
I'm gonna go in with highlight. I cannot wait to use this. Uh, I picked up the Anastasia A23 uh, highlight brush. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to use this, you guys. Ah! Okay, so I think today I'm gonna go with my glow kit. Purely because, I don't know, to be honest, I've got no reason to use it. I just haven't used it in a while. I think I'm gonna pick up, this is called Sunburst and Bubbly. I'm uh, gonna spray my brush as well, just to ensure that we get maximum highlight, you know? Uh, just spray that. I've got electrics down there, hope it don't blow up. <laughs> That would not be good. So I'm gonna pick up something. And he dropped it. My gosh, I'm not having a good day today, am I? Put some on up here. What do you call this? Your eyebrow bone. And then just some inner center of my head. Then I just applied some of these sunburst on the tip of my nose and up my bridge. Is my nose contour too harsh? I feel like. I feel like it's a little bit too harsh. Jero Cosmetics Lip Liner in Nude. This needs a sharpen. These are Okay, so I didn't want to overline them too much because I don't want to look like a drag queen. Okay, so for my lips, I'm going to take Androgyny. Uh, just because I just feel like it's necessary. Because we used it quite a lot on the eye look. Okay, so now I've applied androgyny to my lips. I, I, I feel like it's a little bit on the dark side. I'm gonna go with the Joseph Colors uh, liquid lipstick in sand, just because I feel like. That brings me to the end of the video. Like, I'm so happy with how this come out, you guys. I'm so proud of myself so yeah I'm really really impressed with impressed I'm really impressed with a lot of the stuff that I used today a lot of it was new stuff and I just wanted to give it a go so yeah leave some video requests down below if you want you don't have to it's just to give me ideas what you guys want to see from me so yeah with that being said thank you so much for watching please make sure to like this video if you did like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll be seeing you all in my next video bye Mwah.